We love Bughead as much as the next person, but first place in our hearts will always go to Shoney. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Cheryl and Tony moments on Riverdale. That jacket looks good on you. Everything looks good on me. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the cutest, funniest, and most important moments this couple has shared since meeting in season two. You mean like, move in with you? I'm cuckoo bananas for you. Number 10, their almost first kiss. By this point, fans had already decided that something was gonna happen between these two, but that just made it all the more satisfying to watch. In the previous episode, Cheryl had asked Tony to be her emotional support during the reading of her father's secret will, and there was a lot of adorable flirting on the way. Things get a lot more serious in the episode Primary Colors when Cheryl invites the River Vixens over for a sleepover. I think we should celebrate with a mandatory slumber party at Thistle House. Fancy dressing gowns are appreciated. You've all seen The Beguiled, right? Turns out, Cheryl just wanted an excuse to have Tony over. The two nearly kiss, but are unfortunately interrupted right before their lips touch. Number 9. Cheryl Joins Tony's Protest The land that will soon give way to a new south side was stolen from then. It's safe to say that it wasn't exactly love at first sight with this couple, as Cheryl was pretty overtly cruel to all the Southsiders when they first arrived at Riverdale High. Soon after, though, Tony organizes a protest against Pickens Day because of the crimes that General Pickens perpetrated against the indigenous people. After finding out about her own family's involvement in this, Cheryl decides to join in the protest, symbolically leaving her mother behind. It's a subtle moment, but as she watches Tony speak, you can see the admiration in her eyes. And we can't bring them back, but we can and we must honor them. Number 8. Cheryl's Pool Party What you thinking about, babe? Archie Andrews? He saved my life. One of the biggest disappointments for Shoney fans, and okay, all Riverdale viewers, was the fact that we didn't actually get to see the three-month motorcycle road trip that cemented their relationship between seasons two and three. When they get back, however, Cheryl throws a pool party to mark the end of the summer, and we do get to see the couple having an intimate conversation about what happened when Archie saved Cheryl from Sweetwater River. And I did something really stupid. Archie Andrews was there to save me. It's clearly a hard topic for her, but at this point, after all their time together, Cheryl feels comfortable enough to tell Tony anything. No, there's nothing I or anyone can do to help him. Number seven, stealing the Glamourge egg. Is that? A Glamourge egg worth more than the GMP of most developing countries? Why yes, kitty cat. It is. In season three, we're treated to seeing Cheryl and Tony as a full-fledged couple, and their antics never cease to amuse. In the episode No Exit, the pair breaks into the Lodge family home, dressed as literal cat burglars, to steal Hermione's very valuable Glamourge egg. Unfortunately, this infraction means that the two broke the serpent code that Jughead instated, and he decides to kick them out, asking for their jackets. Turn in your jackets and go. Are you serious, Jones? The couple stands together, in disbelief that they're actually going to be asked to leave, but supporting one another no matter what happens. I'm a serpent by blood. You can't take that away from me. You hypocrite! Number 6. Tony transfers to Riverdale Listen up, ragamuffins. I will not allow Riverdale High's above average GPA to suffer because of classrooms that are overcrowded with underachievers. Before it became clear that these two were going to get together, viewers knew them only as enemies. When Southside High closed down, many of the students were transferred to Riverdale. While Archie and Veronica were there to greet them in a friendly way, Cheryl was not having any of it, not wanting to risk bringing down the admirable GPA that the school held. She throws insults at the serpents and even targets Tony specifically. Considering how vicious she is here, it's hard to believe that these two became a couple not long after. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? Happily, Queen of the Buskers! Okay, guys, everyone. Can we just put our north side, south side differences apart and start over? Number 5. Cheryl Gets Her Serpent Jacket In the finale of season 2, fans got to see an event take place that they could never have imagined at the beginning of the season. Cheryl proudly accepting her very own serpent jacket. After Cheryl gives the serpents a heads up about the white worm being raided, giving them all the chance to get away, Tony proposes that they make her an honorary serpent for helping them. In this scene, Jughead becomes the new Serpent King and is the one to offer Cheryl the honor. 
Of course, the jacket she gets is a special one, with bright red leather. The look on Tony's face when she puts it on is adorable. Number 4. Cheryl asks Tony to move in. You, mon petit amour, are officially on bed rest. When the River Vixens suffer from an unexpected bout of seizures, Cheryl is the only one who isn't affected. She takes Tony back to her place to give her a little TLC while she recovers. Even though Tony says she's feeling better, Cheryl dotes on her and tells her she can stay as long as she wants, extending the offer to suggest that she stay permanently. You can stay here for as long as you like. Even permanently? The entire interaction is so sweet and makes us realize how much we need to see more of this couple in the episodes to come. Won't you move in? As long as I'm the big spoon. <laughs> Number three, saying I love you. You make an extremely sexy Robin Hood, TT. One of the biggest steps in a new relationship, both in real life or in fiction, is saying those three little words that everyone wants to hear. For Cheryl and Tony, this moment wasn't surrounded by fanfare and didn't have any serious buildup. It just happened, kind of like it does in real life. The two have indulged in their Robin Hood fantasy and are simply hanging out together when Tony professes her feelings, immediately after telling Cheryl how crazy she is. Cheryl of course says it back, and then they proceed to hook up on a bed covered in cash. What more could you possibly ask for? I love you. I love you. Number 2. Cheryl opens up for the first time. I loved someone who loved me. My mother destroyed it. The first time Tony tries to get Cheryl to open up to her, it doesn't exactly go well. Get your sapphic serpent hands off my body! The biggest turning point in their relationship, however, when viewers really knew that something was going to happen, came midway through season 2 when Tony confronted Cheryl after seeing her crying during a movie. She encouraged Cheryl to open up to her, and Cheryl admitted that she was in love with a girl once, but her mother called her a deviant and destroyed the relationship and her confidence, causing her to hide her sexuality. Her name was Heather. Tony reassures her that she's deserving of love no matter what. You're sensational. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Uh, I usually do the honors. Not today. Cha-cha, I was born for this moment. Well, I don't think there's any way you amateurs are going to top that, so practice is over, Vixens. Come on, TT. I came upon the most wonderful island. Lesbos. Oh my god. Number one, their first real kiss. Tony, we came to rescue you. When Cheryl goes missing, Tony soon discovers that she's been taken to the Sisters of Quiet Mercy and knows she has to help her escape. She puts together a rescue team to break in and save Cheryl, and when they get there, Cheryl can hardly believe that Tony has actually come for her. First, the two hug, and then they dramatically kiss in front of the entire group of captives, with the movie playing behind them. Not only is this the best Shoney moment, it's gotta be one of the best TV kisses of all time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.